Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to revolutionize your GS Pro experience using voice attack software. Get ready to take your simulator game to a whole new level. R. Stop. Home. Here we go. Ever feel like using a mouse and keyboard interrupts your flow in GS Pro? What if you could just do it all with your voice? Let's dive into how that's possible with a little program called Voice Attack. So what is Voice Attack? Voice Attack is voice activated control of our PC games and apps. So if we head over to their website, you can see Voice Attack allows you to control your PC, your games, simulations using just your voice. It runs in the PC and based on a voice command will execute an action. You can use it to control applications, open, close, do actions within them. You can even use it to write macros and execute those macros based on the voice command. Right now it's being heavily used in the virtual reality space where people are wearing headsets, maybe tethered to a PC or now wireless, and they're trying to make a command or do an action on a mouse and keyboard when they're away from their desk. I thought this could apply to golf simulators. I mean, did you know that over 30% of gamers in the United States have some sort of integrated voice control in their gaming setup? I mean, and this trend is rapidly increasing as voice technology becomes more and more sophisticated and gamers are looking for a more immersive experience. What better place to apply this than in the golf simulator? H down. Overview. Okay, so setting up voice attack for use with GS Pro. Let's go over to their website and you can scroll all the way to the bottom or you can just click the download button and click this floppy disk. The download will start, you'll have an exe file, you'll run that, get it installed on the computer. I've already done that. Um, and what'll happen is when it pops up, you'll get a tips and tricks, run through those. If you can do the voice training, do the voice training that's built in on those tips, but they're very helpful for me when I first did it. Here's some of the settings. When you first get it, you're gonna see on the side here, you've got turn off listening, so now it's not running any of my voice commands. Um, keyboard, mouse, and joystick shortcuts. I don't do anything with those. We'll look at some of the settings real quick. Launch at startup, I put that on mine. You don't necessarily have to do that. I put minimize to tray, so it just hides it. My profile is default. You can add multiple profiles if you want. Uh, maybe you have different users that are using it and they wanna train their own voice or have their own commands. Um, recognition tab, I have the speech engine system default. The, I didn't really do anything here, but this section is the important one. This is the microphone that it's gonna be using to pick up the speech command. So you may have a microphone on your PC over here or this microphone. I'm gonna use the one that's on my projector mounted to my webcam putting because it's closest to the area that I'm gonna be hitting in and will have the least amount of interference. This microphone wouldn't pick it up. So right now I'm using this one for just for demonstration, but I'll switch it to my webcam for webcam putting when I'm using it on GS Pro. You'll see that here in a little bit. On the audio tab, I didn't change anything about this tab. It's all on default. Um, hotkeys, you can set up hotkeys. Again, I didn't do anything there. I haven't yet. If I do, I'll update you guys in the future. I did go through this more about alternate speech engines that you can install. I saw something on their Discord about um, some of the other engines being good. So I clicked on that learn more blue button. It talked about a couple of the other ones I could install. So I did, I added them to it. It just adds more um, basically speech recognition library to the software. So it gets better, or it seems to be a little bit better at recognizing my voice and the words I'm saying, because it's got added information above and beyond the Windows stuff. I right now have it using some of the install platforms I've done. This is speech to, this is text to speech. This one is where you put in text and the computer speaks to you. If you want to do a fun command, when you say something, it talks back to you as if it's, you know, interacting or helping you sort of a Tony Stark kind of thing. I, I do have that later. I'll show you. Um, but let's get into the demonstration of it and how it works, some gameplay, but stay tuned because later on, I'm going to show you this command that just changed everything about my GS Pro experience. Okay. So let's jump into GS Pro and go over the basic commands. Then I'll go over custom commands and then we'll finally get to my game changing custom command. All right. So I've got my camera here. We'll put the voice attack software up above and on the right, we've got GS Pro. We'll spin that up and let's talk basic commands. This little um, pen and paper up here is where all the commands will be written. 
I have got a bunch that I have written. We're not going to go through the, those right now, but we're going to talk about the basic ones. This button will stop all commands. This button will turn on the listening device so that a command can be said. Like for example, I've got a command that is local match, and that would take us in to a local match. But since the listening is off, it's not going to do it. So let's turn it on. Local match. It picks our spot in GS Pro and gets us all ready for it. Now we're going to go into just a course here quick. I want to show you the basic commands. These are commands that when you set them up, they basically are when you hear a word, press a certain button or a key. Um, things like when we aim, let's say. So when you aim, you do aim point typically, uh, you're going to press a button. Well, instead, what we will do is I will just say the word point. Point. Or if I want to move my aim to the right a little bit because I draw the ball, maybe I'll use R. Stop. And a little bit more complicated, but not in the most complicated. This one's got key presses with timing and then it unpresses. So let's try go. It's going to take us to the green. It's going to show us the contours. It's going to remove them. And then it's going to take us back to our shot. Now I'm going to turn it off. We can also do things like forward, backward, club up, club down, next hole. Really anything you can imagine, any key press you can make can be done with a voice command. I'll show you that in some of the gameplay. Why don't you check it out? Go. R. Stop. Stop. Go. R. Stop. Putter. SR, stop. How cool is that? Now I'm gonna show you some of the advanced custom commands and up next, my game changing custom command. Let's jump back in. So from here, we've got some advanced commands and what I consider an advanced command is something that's gonna do multiple things, go through multiple menus. You really, it's unlimited what you can do with this software. But the command that I love the most right now is mapping a course or something you want to do straight from the home menu to one simple command. Let's try night range. Three clicks. It's now typing for me. It's selecting the, the course I want to go to and it's taking me right into play. From here, we can do things like overview. Get our flyover or H down. Aim, point, point. Cool stuff. Now let's try home. This will take us back to our main menu where it all started. Now here it is, my game-changing custom command, and you're going to love it. Play golf. Welcome Triple Bobby. Enjoy your Rapsodu MLM2 Pro Session on GS Pro. I'm opening the connector and setting it all up. Go out there and make some birdies. It's an easy game, 
just remember, it's all in the hips. Did you miss it? The special voice command was just something as simple as play golf. And why it's changed the GS Pro experience for me is with two words, Springbox connector starts, it opens up the screen mirroring app, it connects the API, opens up the webcam putting, rearranges the window set for me, and puts GS Pro up on my projector. With two simple words, my kids can walk in here, say play golf, and it's ready to go. Now there is one caveat to that. You do have to connect the MLM2 Pro to the tablet. That can't be done through the voice command because that's a physical on and off switch. But it eliminates everything on the computer side. It makes it simple for the people in my life to come in and play. I didn't want to have to be the technical guy that was there all the time. I wanted them to be able to enjoy it even when I'm not here. So how did I do it? It was actually pretty simple. And I'll show you. We'll jump over. What we've got here is the MLM2 Pro shortcut. And I'm going to right click it, go to show more options and properties. And inside of there, you're going to see a shortcut spot to put a shortcut key. It says none. And when you click it, it feels like there should be a drop down, but there's not. What you'll do is you'll click the key you want. I want G and that's because I use that for golf. And when you now, when you go into the voice attack software, you're simply going to create a voice command that executes that shortcut key. So I'm going to hit apply that shortcut key for me is control alt G. And what it does is it runs this um, exe file, this target file. So inside of here, I, I click on the edit. I did a new command. My new command was called play golf. So I'll open that up at the time I typed in play golf and I started to set this stuff up down below. I did key press control alt and G. And when I hit, okay, it converts it to run application because it knows that that's what the shortcut is. I added some voice to dictation say hey triple bogey enjoy your round kind of my tony stark assistant just to have a little fun in the video probably going to delete that after this but then i also have it resize my windows and move them into the proper place it's really unlimited what you can do all right thanks for hanging with me i'm going to put all the links in the descriptions you can head over to joe legowski's facebook page he's got amazing golf content on Facebook, on YouTube, everything R10, MLM2, Unicorn, U, I, I Mini. Um, he did VR the other day. It's just an awesome channel. Springbox Connector can be found on his Facebook site. He's got the beta version out that has all the auto start features built into it. And you can also find Springbox Brainbox on his website. So go to check that out, all on Joe Lugowski's Facebook page. I'm gonna jump into G, GS Pro now and play my SGT Par 3 round two because i got to get a little content for the clips earlier in this video that said i don't think there's a better way to end this video than to use that game changing custom command to get myself into my sgt round play golf welcome triple bogey enjoy your rapsodu mlm2 pro session on gs pro i'm opening the connector and setting it all up Go out there and make some birdies. It's an easy game, just remember, it's all in the hips. And there you have it. I'm off to play my round. I've got everything connected, everything pulled up. Just need to open up my Samsung Flow, click my Smart View, and we're off to the races. If you could do me a favor and like, comment, and especially subscribe, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Thank you everybody for the compliments, the questions, uh, the new ideas, and for even teaching me some things along the way that I had no clue of. I expect that to continue to happen and it's why I'm putting these videos out. I am really enjoying it. Thank you, thank you.